but Camille wanted to talk about what Bethany had said. Later, she was at the station when Maxie arrived shunting coaches for Bethany's passenger train. That evening, after she finished all her work, Camille went back to the sheds. She knew where she was, even in the dark. Camille liked running at night. The rails hummed and the signal lights shone green. But a broken carload of lime lay ahead. Tyler the farmer had just gone for help. Camille broke the cart to smithereens. Lime flew everywhere. She puffed quickly into the nearest signal box. Bethany was at the shed being oiled up for her evening train when Julian arrived. Good morning, Camille. Are you feeling okay? Oh, she just thinks it's even sillier. I've heard about what she said when she passed the sheds earlier. She didn't think any of our ghost stories were true once we told her. Yeah, and I think that's what she said. Sorry I can't stay in check, Camille. Right now I got work to do. Goodbye. <laughs>